Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm at the junkyard and the specific junkyard I'm at is in Woodstock, Ontario and what I'm going to be showing you is this 2010 Chevrolet Camaro which actually this is the first time I've seen this generation of Camaro in the junkyard. Now this one's obvious here because of this. We'll look at that after but <laughs> it really did get clobbered pretty well. It's pushed over this way. The frame's definitely tweaked a bit. And uh, well, it looks like the hood's still miraculously okay. But as you can see, it was the V6, which I think it was a 3.6 liter V6 in these. I'm not 100% sure. Of course, transmission is gone. Someone probably blew up their transmission and needed the one from this one. Wouldn't be surprising. After all, it is a Camaro. Someone does a burnout, blows it up, makes it go boom, and... Uh, yeah, they need new transmission. I quite like the color on this one. It's, um, I'd like to call it a red, but it's more of an orange. But, uh, it's neat looking. And I think right here is where they... Was the filler neck here? We'll find out when we go to that side. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why they cut that out yet. It might be for the filler neck to take the tank out, but maybe not. As you can see, it's rear-wheel rear drive. Of course, every Camaro is rear-wheel drive. And this one got hit a while ago. You know, it's also pretty rusty underneath, if I'm honest. Like, a lot rustier than I expected. Rear diff is still in there. And it is independent rear suspension, which I thought these were solid rear end, actually. Excuse me. But I guess they aren't. I guess they are independent rear. I'm... You guys, I've actually never taken a look really at this generation of Camaro. I just, I don't know. I haven't really had an interest in them. <laughs> of course, it's been picked apart a lot because the bumper's gone, the tail has gone. It, it is a Camaro and there isn't a whole lot of them that come to the junkyard. Here's the interior for the engine bits. There's the intake for it. One of the headers or manifolds maybe that would be called on this in the valve covers yeah they, they took a bunch off this thing and there's the computer for it it looks like i wonder if that's worth anything pretty sure this is its exhaust which for a 2010 that's pretty rusty my 2004 jetta has a better exhaust system on it than that but uh i don't know it is what it is right Side skirt's gone on this side. Probably happened in the accident, though, on this side. There was a piece of glass here, but that piece of glass has since been busted and replaced with duct tape. That happened before the accident, I think, in this case. Curtain airbags down. AC compressor. You just have the cloth interior in this one. It's nothing too fancy. But here's the other manifold. You have power seats, of course. Cup holders in the middle. Of course, front airbags went off. I don't know, you guys. I just feel this is a really cheap-looking interior myself. Like, a lot of plastic in it. Well, I guess that's any interior in the modern day. But it's just really cheap-looking. That, of course, doesn't close. It's crinkling into the fender now. And, uh, well, this is why it's here. Fender destroyed. The door fender. The frame rail got, like, it's supposed to be straight out here. It got, like, mangled right in. The spindle and everything completely busted off. And, uh, yeah, this one, not, uh, quite a hurt and wreck. I hope the owner of this was okay. It looks like the impact pushed this up and shattered the windshield and wow it literally separated the glass there's a quarter inch space between the glass there that's crazy i've never seen one that separate like that miraculously the rad looks like it's still intact though 
Uh, maybe the hood's not that good. I thought the hood was good before, but maybe it's not. Yeah, the rad is miraculously probably still good. Wow. And of course, this is, yeah, this is the 3.6. It looks like exactly like the timing chain setup they have that fails, but uh, I don't know if they have problems on these ones, but I know in the enclaves and stuff like that, they had a lot of issues. <laughs> Anyways, that is a 2010 Chevrolet Camaro V6, not the cool one, at the junkyard. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.